What's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be talking about all the different DoorDash programs there are and um, which ones should you focus on and which ones should you try to aim to be a part of. I want to preface this by saying, yeah, there's different kinds of programs that are have the word program in it. For example, the referral program, but that's not necessarily a program that we are going to be focused on. We're going to focus on the more the delivery aspect. So let's get right into it. The first program is the Top Dasher program. This is the most common one everybody knows where you have to get 4.7 um, customer rating, 70% acceptance rate, 95% completion rate, and you have to complete 100 deliveries in the previous month and also uh, 200 deliveries in the lifetime of your DoorDash account. Uh, this one is the most hated program because everybody is encouraged to uh, try to pursue it but in the grand scheme of things it doesn't benefit you as a dasher if you are mainly focused on uh, dashing during peak hours such as lunch or dinner and or dinner and that's because you have to you're accepting some of these really bad orders where it's either no tip or the ratio from um, time to pay out or miles to pay out um, is ho horrendous. So that's a lot of people criticize this program. And for me, I don't encourage anybody to uh, join this one unless, unless you like to deliver during off peak times where you do have to compete against other dashers who are also scheduled during that period. And the uh, DoorDash will prioritize you to to get to give you the offer instead of somebody else who is not a top dasher so that's the only time that it might be um useful to be part of this program the second program is the higher paying orders program where you have to have a customer rating of 4.5 and an acceptance rates acceptance rate of 50 percent and these numbers are way lower than the top dasher but a lot of people are calling this pilot program uh, Top Dasher 2.0 and essentially if you're part of this program then uh, DoorDash will prioritize you for higher paying orders where the ratio is like two dollars over two dollars um, per mile and some a lot of uh, door, YouTube DoorDashers have commented on this how it doesn't even uh, appear to give you these types of orders so I think that um, this order has i have not tried this or a program i have not seen it in seattle um and the reason why i i feel like this pilot program has not come to seattle yet is because doordash hates seattle i mean seattle has the seattle city council has all these rules such as uh the seattle premium pay and then we also have a paid safe and sick time so we actually get some sort of sick time if you worked uh you know a certain amount of hours so that I mean so so that's why I haven't seen this program yet but this program is uh, is still a pilot program and I think that for the most part it's a not is not that good based off what other youtubers have said so this is not um, a program that you ne should necessarily be rushing to be part of so the next program is a different type of program. It's not necessarily a program. It is the Dasher Community Council. And what the Dasher Community Council is, you have to apply to be part of this uh, group. And essentially you get some kind of input into the kind of programs and um, structure that DoorDash outputs to uh, the rest of the community. And you get to be part of the um, the, the, the test group and you can give your input first. I don't know if this is actually this actual council exists. I looked through Reddit. I don't see anybody who's ever said they've been part of this program. I feel like that is this place where somebody would say something like I hey I've been part of this program. You know, I gave this input, nobody cared. And or I I've I haven't seen it on YouTube either and YouTube is probably the least likely place to see it because you have to Places that you have to show your face. So Reddit, I haven't seen it there. I'm not even sure this place, this thing exists. It's been in existence since 2019. That's when I first started. 
And yeah, I'm not, I'm not, whoever's part of this program is not doing, um, any favors for, uh, door dashers because people will just keep getting more and more irritated by the programs that they're outputting. Next up, we have the pizza program. And for the pizza program, all you need to do is show proof that you have a, um, pizza tote bag that you can put your pizza um, into. And this, from my perspective and what I'm reasoning through is that the, the restaurant or the merchant has to sign up from uh, the DoorDash end and say, hey, we only accept uh, DoorDashers who have the tote bag to put the pizza in. In Seattle, most of the pizza places don't require you to have the, the bag. And I mean, the, the times that I've delivered pizza, I've had, I haven't gone too far um, to deliver the pizza, so it hasn't necessarily gone cold or anything. But for the most part, in terms of payout, it does pay more hourly. On average, I get between 10 to $20 payout for when I'm delivering pizza. The only downside is that sometimes when I arrive at the place, um, the pizza is not ready. That's the only downside for me. But if you're out of out of Seattle and you're not you're dealing with with uh, restaurants who do require it then this is probably something you might look into um, you will get a higher hourly rate and depending on your restaurants um, how fast they are maybe they'll be more efficient than uh, than what I've experienced the last program that I'm talking about and this is the one that you want to be a part of this one is, is called the large order program or also known as the catering program where uh, customers are ordering over, you know, a hundred dollars worth of food in a in a catering um, fashion. So they're you're handed like trays of food, and you have to you know deliver it. This one is by invite only, but you need two hundred uh, lifetime deliveries, a hundred in the past month, four point seven um, customer rating, and ninety five percent completion rate. And again, this is uh, by invite only, so I'm not really sure how to, uh, a lot of people have said uh, different ways to kind of hack the system to um, get into the program, such as buying a catering bag, that's also an another requirement. Um, and then just letting a door national, hey, I got the bag, you know, if you need another person, I am available. That's something you do want to cover. I, since, even though I've never been a part of, I've asked another person when um, I was at uh, Chick-fil-A and they say that they do get larger payouts a couple people on Online on YouTube in the comments have Commented that you do get a bigger payout and even though I was never part of the program There's one restaurant that I go to uh, That I take orders from and I know it's a catering uh, job because they hand me like trays of food And it's organized like the meat tray the vegetable tray the tortilla tray uh, and then I get a payout between twenty to thirty dollars just for this n normal delivery. It doesn't take any any much longer to carry the food um, to the destination. So overall, so I know I know from that experience that it does give you a bigger payout. And this is something you definitely want to be part of. I'm gonna try to hack the system a little bit and try to get part be part of the program. And I'll give an update in the future video on it on the results that I get. That's it for this video, and if you like the content on this channel, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.